Hey everybody, my name is Puri Alami and in this video we're going to talk about the Fournoy Fracture 2 in Cinema 4D. Now, I've been going through YouTube and I see a lot of comments coming up on how to do this and how to control it um, with the MoGraph effectors, etc. So we're going to discuss it a little bit and talk about the stuff that people don't usually talk about. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add a cube, zoom in by pressing S on my keyboard. Now I'm going to expand this a little bit more because to make this tutorial work, we need a larger field. All right. Now this looks good to me. And the next thing that I'm going to do is make this editable. Great. Uh, we can call this um, our bridge, right? This might be a bridge, maybe a hanging bridge that goes somewhere it doesn't matter um, the next thing that we want to do right now is select it go to MoGraph and click on the Fournoy fracture while holding the alt on your keyboard and you immediately see the results of where your um, points are going to be and if you go to sources point generator distribution and click on it you can actually up this to any amount that you want and you can actually change the distribution type to whatever fits what you're doing right so depending on a project you might want something like this or you want to have a uniform distribution that you control later on and we're going to talk about that right now what if none of what you want is here right what if you want another type of control and you just want to have a few of these um, with more detail than the others well you can do that easily by adding another Fournoy fracture on top of this so while I got my Fournoy fracture selected I go to MoGraph hold alt click on Fournoy fracture and this adds another layer on top now, I'm gonna turn this off for a second because um, it kinda looks the same when it comes to the distribution of the points so what we want to do right now is go back to our first Fournoy fracture, right click on it, go to MoGraph tags and add a MoGraph weight map. Now this allows us to select certain points which, where we might want to add more weight to. And I'm going to select these three. That's fine for now. All, all that I want to use. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my first Fournoy fracture on the top layer and we're going to go to object. And we're going to drag this weight map on the MoGraph weight map that we have there. Now, nothing is happening because you need to do one more thing to get this working. That's going to your sources, selecting your point generator and click on the create points per object. And now you see if I were to uh, deselect everything that we got a lot more detail going here. And I could even up this to maybe 60 and you could see it more clear. So we're going to keep this as is for now. And what we want to do next is actually have some effects that influence this Fournoy fracture. If I were to play a uh, press play now, not, nothing would happen. Okay. So what I actually want to do is be able to influence this. And I can do that by adding a rigid body. So I go to simulation tags and then rigid body tag and edit. And the moment I do, and press play everything falls down which is fine and which should happen to be honest but this is not what we want we want to control what falls down based on the object that's hitting it because you want your gravity to work but you want to have a solid maybe a bridge or a road so you don't want everything to fall down immediately if you do this is what you're looking for right but I assume you, you don't. So what I want to do next is go, then go to my dynamics body tag and change the trigger from immediately to on collision. And what this does is actually start the falling down uh, simulation when something hits the object. So the next thing that I want to do is select my Fournoy fracture, go to MoGraph effectors, and I'm going to click on the plane uh, effector. And I'm just going to add it and you will see that it is right here and we can actually control uh, 
its influence in this tab. But we're going to go back to our plane. We're going to go to fall off and we're going to add maybe a spherical field. That looks cool. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Now let me put it all the way over here because I just want to show you a little bit of the detailed area. Now what's happening right now is um, the objects are rising because my plane parameter says that it has to go up 100 centimeters when this spher a spherical field passes through it. So I want to change this to maybe minus 10. And you can see that something happens. And this is more than enough to get your um, dynamics body uh, or your rigid body to start working. So let me just animate this real quick. Go to my effector. Uh, go to my coordinates and we can see that we can actually animate whatever we want right here. So I'm going to select that uh, this uh, button which animates or places a keyframe and then I'm going to go up a few frames maybe to 70 and place it all the way over here and create a keyframe. And if I were to pl press play now you would see that stuff is indeed falling based on um, where my spher spherical field is passing through. And this is, I feel like, something that a lot of people have been looking for and could not find. So keep in mind that this way you have full control over how everything is going, what you're doing, and you can actually use all the uh, MoGraph effectors on your Fournoy Fracture. I hope this tutorial kind of explains everything. And if you want to do a little bit more, you can actually add a plane underneath because you want to see the influence of the objects, right? They're falling right now, but let's add a simulation tag collider body on this and press play. And you see that everything is working as they should. Now, if you find that the effect or how your objects are um, moving or interacting with other objects, you can simply fix that by going to your um, Fournoy fracture, uh, fracture and then going all the way to Dynamics Body, going down and bringing Bounce down maybe and up the friction and you see that stuff stops faster so this basically means how many friction there is collision noise you can actually lower this and you will see that objects interact differently so this is what you can play with if you want to have more influence on your Fournoy fracture but i hope that this tutorial kind of explains to you how you can use the MoGraph effectors with the Fournoy fracture and uh, how you can have full control without using rigged body objects to drop everything down. All right. Good luck with your projects and I see you in the next video.